Hey guys, I'm so excited to share the new Miraculous dolls with you. They're my favorite new dolls, and I'm about to tell you why. First, we'll talk about Marinette and Adrian, and then we'll move on to their superhero alter egos. The packaging is awesome because each doll comes on its own special background. I really like the character cutouts that they included with each box. You can take them and turn them into little Kwame figures for your dolls. I love the packaging. It's very bright and colorful, just like the show. You can pause any of these pictures, but I really want to move on to the most important part of this review, which, of course, are the new dolls. Marinette is my favorite doll out of the four. She is so pretty. I love her bright blue eyes, her pink lips, and the little bit of a pink flush on her cheeks. Her hair is beautiful. It's shiny, it's silky, but the color is a little darker than it is on the TV show. Plus, her hair is way longer. I might cut her hair. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Her outfit is really high quality, but I don't like that the jacket is attached to the shirt. However, the shirt has a lovely flower pattern and the jacket is lined with a white and pink polka dot pattern. I love her pink capris. They feel like real clothes and they have super nice stitching. Her shoes are these cute little pink flats, but warning, they do fall off a lot. Marinette's accessory is this super cute backpack. I love the detailing on it. The only downside is it doesn't open, but it looks so cute on Marinette that I don't even care. Let's move on to the object of Marinette's affections, Adrian. I love his molded on hair and his bright green eyes. I think they did a great job making him look like the character on the show. His outfit is very detailed and well made, but his shirt is also sewn on to his undershirt, which I don't like. Adrian's jeans feel like real jeans. Adrian is wearing a pair of red and white sneakers, and his accessory is this fencing sword. Now that Adrianette are together, let's talk about my favorite super heroine. This doll is amazing. Her face paint is gorgeous. That red mask brings out her blue eyes. Here's a little head-to-toe comparison of Ladybug and Marinette. Her bodysuit is this soft, stretchy material. Her hands are painted red, but it's more of an orangey red than the bodysuit, so it doesn't match that well. And her arm is not painted, so if the bodysuit slips up, you're just going to see her pale arm underneath. Her flat feet do look a little bit odd in this bodysuit, but her Ladybug Compact is an amazing accessory, and I love that she can actually hold it, unlike many doll accessories today. Let's talk about her partner in crime, Cat Noir. Cat Noir looks amazing in his black bodysuit. My favorite thing about this doll are his cat ears, and I also love his molded on hair. It's so highly detailed and gives the perfect animated look. You can see the comparison between his hair and Adrian's. The bodysuit is made out of similar fabric to Ladybug's. He also has a painted on hand, but it matches his bodysuit much better than Ladybug's does. He has a black cat tail belt and this awesome pair of boots.
His accessory is this staff. Here's a little head-to-toe comparison of Adrian and Cat Noir. Now that my favorite couple is together, we'll talk about some important features of these dolls. Marinette and Ladybug have the same articulation. Adrian and Cat Noir also have the same exact articulation, so we'll talk about all of them at once. They have a pretty decent range of motion. Their wrists can only swivel. They can't bend. Ladybug's flexibility is just okay. Ladybug can only kick this high, while Cat Noir can kick that high. Ladybug has trouble doing splits, but they're super easy for Cat Noir. The weirdest thing is the male dolls can point their toes, while the female dolls can't. It makes no sense. At 10 and a half inches, these dolls are about the same height as Monster High and a little bit shorter than Barbie. I love these dolls. They are so cute and I can't wait to make even more videos with them. My favorite pairing would be Lady Noir. They are so cute together. I want to know your favorite pairing and tell me anything you want about the show in the comments below. Are you going to get these dolls? I want to hear from you and discuss things in the comments.